P53 is uh, it's a transcription factor. It's called the guardian of the genome, and it's a molecular machine that's mutated in over 50% of human cancers. We started working with this protein, and one of the things that we discovered very early on was that it was highly, highly mobile. So we started to run these simulations, and we could see just all of sort of the wiggling and jiggling of its side chains, and we found one of these sort of secret druggable pockets that people had never seen before because no one had ever really simulated in this way. One of the reasons this is exciting is because it also has the ability to tie into precision medicine because it turns out now we know with tumor profiling that actually different patients will have different mutations of p53 and we've been able to we've been able to model a vast number of these different mutated forms of this cancerous molecule and discover specific drugs against each of these strains right so the long term dream is sort of that you are diagnosed with cancer instead of just giving the same drug to everyone they'll give you a drug that's actually tailored specifically to the, not only the type of cancer you have, but even at a more detailed level, sort of like some particular feature that's present in your type of cancer. These mathematical, these physics, chemical-based methods that we can now um, run very rapidly on the supercomputers, they give us entirely new insight into these systems that we otherwise would never have had. And in many cases, it's insight that we can exploit um, into the translation of new drugs.